Look at, isn't that a nice small mouth? I just can't get over it. They're like footballs. And I think it's got to do with, um, you know, winter coming on in a couple of months and uh, they have to put weight on because smallmouth bass and largemouth bass become pretty lethargic during the winter months. Okay, let's get this guy in the water. I mean, you can appreciate how clear this water is in Lake Ontario. It's almost like fishing in the ocean. Look at, isn't that a gorgeous specimen? Big belly. Look, if I hold him up, look at that belly. Nice pot belly. And he's going to get his energy back in just a second. And there he goes right down. Now, you know, because the water is so clear, the color of tube that you use is very important. Look, I'm going to show you the top colors, no matter where you fish for smallmouth bass. And I've also got a white one here. And the white one, I'm just going to make a comment that when smallmouth bass and largemouth bass are feeding on bait fish, this pearl color or a white color is really good. But traditionally, when the smallmouth are feeding like they are now, late summer, early fall, and they're going onto the reefs and bars, and they're looking for gobies, and they're looking for crayfish around those rocks, these are the colors that you use right here. The first one is called a jelly color. You can see it right here. It's actually called peanut butter and jelly. One of my favorite sandwiches. So it's, it's a slight shade of brown. Look, the next one is goby. This is the goby one. And then the third one right here is the pumpkin, green pumpkin. That's what I caught the last fish on. But what I've been doing, I've been alternating with these three colors. Now you might say, well, yeah, they kind of all look the same. They're dark. Uh, you know what? Some days one color will work. Other ones won't work so well. Some days you can get them on anything. This morning I found that I had to change up colors and it, it turned out that this color, the green pumpkin seed, is the best color. The other thing that's important is the size of the tube jig head that you're using. You can't just use a normal jig head like you do with a twister tail. You have to use a jig head that's got a tapered head, no grub barb, and that slides right inside the tube. So if I was to put a round jig head in the tube, it would look a little bit bulky and it wouldn't go through the water as nicely. It wouldn't be as hydrodynamic, okay? So choosing the right color in clear water conditions is crucial for catching smallmouth bass.